Unveiling the Shadows, a deep dive into passive cyber attacks, eavesdropping and monitoring. Please subscribe, like and share. Passive cyber attacks, particularly eavesdropping and monitoring, stand out as silent adversaries capable of wreaking havoc on digital ecosystems. This in-depth exploration will delve into the intricate workings of eavesdropping and monitoring, unraveling their implementation methods, dissecting the far-reaching consequences, and proposing comprehensive strategies to prevent and protect against these clandestine activities. Implementation of eavesdropping and monitoring. Packet sniffing and data interception. Eavesdropping often relies on exploiting vulnerabilities in communication protocols. Packet sniffing, a technique where attackers intercept and log data traveling over a network, provides an insider's view into the communication stream. While they have legitimate uses in network troubleshooting and analysis, cyber criminals can exploit them for malicious purposes. Data interception, passive eavesdropping, exploiting weak protocols, challenges in detecting covert activities, encryption bypass, if communication is encrypted, it becomes challenging to decipher the intercepted data. Stealthy operation. Packet sniffers can operate silently, making it difficult for traditional security measures to detect their presence. Legitimate use concerns. Distinguishing between legitimate and malicious use of packet sniffers can be challenging. Constantly evolving tactics. Cyber criminals continually adapt their techniques to bypass detection mechanisms. Encrypted tunnels and VPNs. Cyber criminals may use encrypted tunnels or virtual private networks, VPNs, to further conceal their activities. Silent observation and intelligent monitoring. Monitoring activities involve the strategic observation of digital behaviors without direct interference. Advanced tools enable cyber criminals to track user behaviors, analyze network traffic patterns, and mine system logs for exploitable information. Silent observation, also known as covert surveillance, refers to the subtle and undetected monitoring of individuals, organizations, or systems over an extended period. Here are some techniques employed by threat actors. Passive listening. Threat actors engage in passive listening, intercepting and analyzing communication without actively participating. Pattern recognition. Threat actors observe patterns in behavior, communication, or activities to extract meaningful intelligence. Social engineering manipulating individuals into divulging sensitive information through psychological tactics. This involves exploiting human vulnerabilities rather than technical weaknesses. IoT exploitation, leveraging vulnerabilities in Internet of Things, IoT devices for silent observation. Steganography, concealing information within seemingly innocuous data to avoid detection. Temporal and spatial analysis, analyzing data in relation to time and location to uncover patterns and trends. Low and slow attacks. Conducting attacks with minimal impact to avoid detection. Insider threats. Exploiting individuals with privileged access to gain intelligence from within an organization. Unconventional communication channels. Description. Using non-traditional channels to exchange information. Techniques. Leveraging seemingly harmless platforms or channels that are not closely monitored for communication. Making it difficult for security measures to detect malicious activity. Custom malware and exploits. Developing tailored malware or exploits for specific targets. Techniques. Crafting sophisticated malware that operates quietly and avoids detection by traditional security solutions. Allowing threat actors to gather intelligence undetected. Defending against such intelligent monitoring techniques involves a holistic approach, including advanced threat detection, employee awareness training, and regular security assessments. Consequences of passive cyber attacks. Identity theft and financial fraud. The consequences of eavesdropping and monitoring are far-reaching, with stolen personal data leading to identity theft and financial fraud. This section will delve into real-world cases, examining how compromised login credentials, credit card information, and medical records can be monetized on the dark web. The dark web is a portion of the Internet that is intentionally hidden and is frequently associated with illegal activities. Criminals on the dark web monetize various types of stolen data, including compromised login credentials, credit card information, and medical records. Here are real-world cases illustrating how these types of stolen data are exploited for financial gain. Compromised login credentials. Case example. Credential stuffing attacks. Monetization. Criminals use automated tools to test large sets of username-password combinations obtained from data breaches on various websites. Successful logins provide access to user accounts, which can be exploited for various purposes. Profit model. Stolen accounts are often sold on dark web marketplaces, forums, or private channels, 
buyers may use these accounts for identity theft, unauthorized access to services, or further exploitation. Credit card information. Case example. Mage card attacks. Monetization. Mage card attacks involve compromising e-commerce websites to steal credit card details entered by users during online transactions. These attacks often go undetected by website owners. Profit model. Stolen credit card information is sold on the dark web where buyers may use it for fraudulent purchases, card cloning, or selling it further to other criminals. Medical records. Case example. Community health systems. CHS. Data breach. Monetization. In the CHS data breach, hackers gained access to a large number of medical records. Medical records contain sensitive information, such as patient names, addresses, social security numbers, and medical histories. Profit model. Stolen medical records can be sold on the dark web for identity theft, insurance fraud, or blackmail. Criminals may use the information to fraudulently obtain medical services, prescription drugs, or even commit more severe crimes. Ransomware attacks. Case example. WannaCry ransomware. Monetization. Ransomware encrypts files on victims' computers, rendering them inaccessible. In exchange for providing the decryption key, the attackers demand a ransom payment, often in cryptocurrency. Profit model. Victims who pay the ransom contribute to the financial success of the attackers. Personal information. Case example. Equifax data breach. Monetization. The Equifax breach exposed personal information, including social security numbers and birth dates, of millions of individuals. Profit model. Criminals can use this information for identity theft, applying for credit in the victim's names, or selling the data on the dark web. The stolen information may also be used to craft more convincing phishing attacks. In these cases, the dark web acts as a marketplace where stolen data is traded and exploited for various criminal purposes. Corporate espionage and trade secret compromise. In a corporate context, monitoring activities can result in significant financial losses and the compromise of trade secrets. Through real-world examples, this subsection will illustrate the potential damage to a company's competitive edge and reputation, emphasizing the importance of safeguarding intellectual property. Safeguarding intellectual property, IP, is crucial for maintaining a company's competitive edge and reputation. Real-world examples demonstrate the potential damage that can occur when intellectual property is compromised. Here are some cases. 2010 Stuxnet attack was a sophisticated computer worm designed to target supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA systems, particularly those used in Iran's nuclear program. Impact on competitiveness. The development and deployment of Stuxnet required significant resources and expertise. It is believed to have set back Iran's nuclear program and demonstrated the potential for cyber attacks on critical infrastructure. Reputation damage. While the Stuxnet attack was a covert state-sponsored operation, the incident raised concerns about the use of cyber weapons, leading to increased scrutiny of nation-state activities in cyberspace. 2020 SolarWinds breach involved the insertion of a malicious code into the software supply chain, compromising numerous organizations, including government agencies and major corporations. Impact on competitiveness the attackers gained access to sensitive information and intellectual property from various organizations. This could potentially provide a competitive advantage to other entities or nations. Reputation damage. The incident led to a loss of trust in the affected companies and raised questions about the security of software supply chains. 2016 Uber Data Breach. Uber experienced a data breach where hackers gained access to the personal information of 57 million users and drivers. Uber paid the hackers to keep the breach secret. Impact on competitiveness. The stolen data included personal information and driver's license details. Competitors could potentially exploit this information to gain insights into Uber's user base and driver network. Reputation damage. Uber faced significant backlash for concealing the breach and paying the hackers. The stealthy nature of passive attacks. The insidious nature of passive cyber attacks means that victims often remain unaware until substantial damage has been done. This segment will explore the challenges organizations face in detecting eavesdropping and monitoring activities promptly, complicating incident response efforts. Detecting eavesdropping and monitoring activities promptly poses significant challenges for organizations, complicating incident response efforts. Eavesdropping refers to the unauthorized interception of communication, and monitoring activities may involve covert surveillance. Here are the challenges organizations face in identifying such activities in a timely manner. One. Passive nature of eavesdropping, encryption bypass 3, steganography and covert channels, insider threats, slow and low tactics, 
legitimate monitoring tools, evasion techniques, diverse attack vectors 9, global and remote operations 10, lack of behavioral baselines. To address these challenges, organizations need advanced threat detection solutions, continuous monitoring, and proactive security measures. Prevention and protection strategies. 1. Encryption protocols and data in transit security. To counter passive cyber attacks, organizations must implement robust encryption protocols. This subsection will provide a detailed analysis of transport layer security, TLS, for web traffic and virtual private networks, VPNs, for securing remote communications, transport layer security, TLS, for web traffic. Purpose. TLS is a cryptographic protocol designed to secure communication over a computer network, especially on the Internet. It protects the privacy and integrity of data between communicating applications. Encryption. TLS uses encryption algorithms to protect data in transit. It secures web traffic by encrypting information exchanged between a user's browser and a web server, preventing eavesdropping and tampering. Key features. Encryption algorithms. TLS supports various encryption algorithms, including symmetric and asymmetric cryptography. Common algorithms include AES for symmetric encryption and RSA for key exchange. Certificate-based authentication TLS uses digital certificates to authenticate the identity of servers and, optionally, clients. This helps ensure that users are connecting to legitimate websites and not falling victim to man-in-the-middle attacks. Handshake process. Key exchange. During the TLS handshake, the client and server agree on encryption parameters, exchange cryptographic keys, and verify each other's digital certificates. Perfect forward secrecy, PFS. Many TLS implementations support PFS, ensuring that even if a long-term key is compromised, past communications remain secure. Newer versions address vulnerabilities, improve security, and enhance performance. Virtual private networks, VPNs, for securing remote communications. Purpose. VPNs establish secure encrypted connections over the Internet, enabling users to access a private network from remote locations. Types. VPNs can be categorized into various types, including site-to-site, -site, remote access, and peer-to-peer -peer VPNs. Regular software updates and vulnerability patching. Regularly updating and patching software and systems is critical to closing potential vulnerabilities that attackers might exploit for eavesdropping or monitoring. This segment will explore the challenges of maintaining an updated infrastructure and propose best practices for effective vulnerability management. Challenges of maintaining an updated infrastructure. Complexity of IT environments. Challenge. Modern IT infrastructures are often complex, comprising various technologies, platforms, and interconnected systems. Updating such diverse environments can be challenging and may lead to compatibility issues. Legacy systems and software. Challenge. Organizations often rely on legacy systems and software that may not receive regular updates or support. Interdependencies and integration issues. Challenge. Interdependencies between different components of the infrastructure can complicate updates. Resource constraints. Challenge. Limited resources, including time, budget, and manpower, can hinder the ability to keep infrastructure components up to date. Vendor patching timelines. Challenge. Organizations rely on vendors to release patches and updates for the software and systems they use. Regulatory compliance. Challenge. Compliance requirements often mandate that organizations maintain secure and up-to-date systems. User resistance to changes. Challenge. Users may resist changes to interfaces or functionalities introduced with updates. Testing and validation. Challenge. Before deploying updates, thorough testing and validation are essential to ensure that the updates do not introduce new issues or disrupt existing workflows. Best practices for effective vulnerability management. 1. Asset inventory and prioritization. Regular vulnerability assessments. 3. Patch management. 4. Continuous monitoring fee. Change Management 6. Education and Awareness. Automation and Orchestration 8. Incident Response Plan 9. Vendor Relationship Management 8. Regular Training and Drills. Network Security Measures. Segmentation and Access Controls. Implementing robust network security measures, including network segmentation and access controls, can limit the impact of monitoring activities. This subsection will delve into the benefits of compartmentalizing sensitive data and restricting access to minimize the surface area available to attackers. Compartmentalizing sensitive data and restricting access is a fundamental security practice that offers several benefits in minimizing the surface area available to attackers. This approach enhances the overall security posture of an organization 
and mitigates the impact of potential security incidents. Here are the key benefits of compartmentalization and access restriction. 1. Reduced attack surfaced, mitigation of lateral movement, isolation of high-value assets, granular access control 5. Enhanced data privacy and compliance, containment of security incident 7. Facilitation of least privilege principle, defense in-depth strategy 9. Improved incident detection 10. Adaptability to dynamic threat landscape. Above approaches not only limits the attack surface, but also promotes a security architecture that aligns with best practices and regulatory requirements. User education and awareness programs. User education and awareness play a pivotal role in preventing passive cyber attacks. This section will explore the dynamics of social engineering and highlight the importance of empowering individuals to recognize and resist these tactics, reducing the likelihood of falling victim to eavesdropping enabled attacks. Dynamics of social engineering. Social engineering is a form of manipulation that exploits human psychology to deceive individuals into divulging confidential information, performing actions, or compromising security. It often involves exploiting trust, authority, urgency, or fear to achieve the attacker's goals. Eavesdropping enabled attacks may leverage information gathered through social engineering to target individuals or organizations. It is crucial for recognizing and resisting these tactics. Pretexting. Attackers create a fabricated scenario or pretext to trick individuals into disclosing sensitive information. Phishing. Phishing involves sending deceptive emails, messages, or websites that appear legitimate to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information, such as login credentials or financial details. Baiting. Baiting involves enticing individuals with something attractive, like a free software download, to trick them into revealing sensitive information. Quid pro quo. In quid pro quo attacks, attackers offer something in exchange for information, such as posing as a helpful service provider or offering technical support. Impersonation. Attackers may impersonate authoritative figures, colleagues, or service providers to gain trust and deceive individuals into taking specific actions. Tailgating and piggybacking. Physical security aspects like tailgating, following someone without authorization, or piggybacking, gaining unauthorized access by exploiting someone else's entry can be facilitated by information gathered through eavesdropping. Importance of empowering individuals. Awareness and education. Educating individuals about social engineering tactics and the potential risks associated with eavesdropping is crucial. Fishing simulation training. Conducting fishing simulation exercises helps individuals experience simulated social engineering attacks in a controlled environment. Regular security training programs. Implementing regular security training programs keeps individuals informed about the latest social engineering tactics. Encouraging a culture of suspicion. Fostering a culture where individuals are encouraged to verify requests, double-check unexpected communications, and question unusual scenarios helps create a more security-conscious environment. Multi-factor authentication, MFA. Implementing MFA adds an extra layer of security, making it more difficult for attackers to gain unauthorized access even if credentials are compromised through social engineering attacks. Clear communication channels for reporting, establishing clear and accessible channels for reporting suspicious activities or potential social engineering attempts, encourages individuals to share concerns and facilitates prompt incident response. Regular security updates and reminders. Sending regular security updates and reminders reinforces key security principles. Testing and assessments. Conducting periodic security assessments, including simulated social engineering tests, helps organizations identify vulnerabilities and areas for improvement. Technical controls and safeguards. Implementing technical controls, such as email filtering, endpoint protection, and network monitoring, helps detect and mitigate social engineering attacks. By empowering individuals with knowledge, training, and the right mindset, organizations can significantly reduce the likelihood of falling victim to social engineering tactics, including those facilitated by eavesdropping. Safeguarding against passive cyber attacks demands a multifaceted approach that combines technological defenses, proactive measures, and user education. This comprehensive exploration has shed light on the intricacies of eavesdropping and monitoring, providing a roadmap for organizations to fortify their digital perimeters and minimize the risk of falling prey to these covert threats. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching.